What is up FEG fam? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I wanted to go ahead and talk about a topic that I find to be very exciting but also very interesting at the same time. This is going to be a relatively short video so if you enjoy go ahead and drop a like. It means more to the channel now than ever and it's greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel you enjoy what you see here, you enjoy the content, go ahead and consider subbing to the channel, join the FBG family, we would love to have you stick around. Thank you so much for all of your support, it is incredible. So, today's video, what is it in reference to? Well, of course it's in reference to Yai Miko, but it is also in reference to a comment that I saw on a video from an individual that I do apologize, I forgot who that individual is, but you know who you are, that commented that their Yai Miko is going to be an iframe monster. And the more I thought about it, the more I saw the potential of it. So let me go ahead and explain, just in case you're unaware of what iframe means, it means invincibility frames. So, in the game of Genshin Impact, there are points in times or frames to where you become invincible or invulnerable to damage. So what I mean by that as an example, if an enemy is about to hit you, if you pop your elemental burst or if you dodge at the precise time, you actually take no damage, which is incredible. And if you can master that effect or if you can master that skill of iframing, then you can essentially obviously take no damage and be able to survive longer and be able to set yourself up for success to be able to be the best Genshin Impact player that you can possibly be and not rely on shields and things of that nature. Now, why is Yai Miko or why does Yai Miko have the potential to be an iframe monster? Well, if you've seen Yai Miko gameplay and you've seen gameplay of her elemental skill, then you know exactly what we're referring to because with her elemental skill, she has the ability to iframe most, if not all the attacks from the enemies. Now, of course, when you're around hordes of enemies, multiple enemies, it's not going to be realistic to be able to iframe every single thing. But if you couple the elemental skill, iframing it at the precise time in tandem with Yai Miko's dashes and then elemental bursts and then it resets the elemental skill and then you can rinse and repeat and do it all over again and then you couple that with your rotations with your characters. The potential is exciting to say the least because we know right now if you've seen my last video Yai Miko is ready to go. She's finalized. She's ready to drop in the game. So the elemental skill say it has the potential to iframe more than any other character in the game of Genshin Impact that I can personally think of right now. But this is where I want to get your thoughts and your opinions on this said topic. Let me know what you think. Do you think Yai Miko has the potential to be an iframe monster in the game? I think she does. And this leads me to believe that Yai Miko is going to be one of those characters that I wouldn't say is difficult to play per se because we know the rotations and how she's going to be used, but I will say this, and I'll go on the record of stating that I believe you're gonna be able to tell the difference between a an individual that has mastered Yai Miko and put hours into her versus somebody that just obtained her and are utilizing her for the first time. If you were to look at two gameplays, those, those two individuals playing Yai Miko side by side, the player that put in multiple hours and the individual that just played her for the first time, I think you would be seeing a notable difference. And I don't think you can say that for every character in the game of Genshin Impact. And I think that's what's going to make Yai Miko very unique and different in that aspect. I think it's going to take some mastering of this character using her in game and really understanding what she's capable of, how to use her the most effectively and what is going to bring out the fullest potential. Now, once again, I always want to preface it by stating temporary expectations. I don't mean to hype or get people too excited. It's just me and my excitement, and I always temper my own expectations. So I just want to ask for you to do the same until you actually use her in game if you are going for her. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I hope you did enjoy the video once again, and if you did, drop a like, sub if you're new. Also, follow your boy on Twitter. We've been getting followers constantly over there, and it means the world to me. I do post things over there that you won't see on YouTube, so you may want to go ahead and check me out if you just want a little bit more of me. Also, 
Uh, if you want to support the channel just a little bit further, then you can go to the link in the description down below to Gamer Subs. Use code Further Beyond Gaming at checkout, gets 10% off everything in the store. You'll love everything that is over there for you to get. So if you do, it directly supports the channel and helps us to grow to do bigger and better things. Anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in literally everything that you do. My name is Cody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.